Hi, this is David from Acceleration, the Excel Learning Channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify and remove duplicates in your data in Excel. A duplicate is a record found more than once in a range. The range can be a single column or row, or multiple columns or rows. We're going to work with a list of cars by make, color, and price, trying to identify the duplicated records and removing them. The Microsoft way of identifying duplicates could be misleading, so I'm going to show you their way and then a better way to identify the duplicated records. According to Microsoft, to identify duplicates, you need to first select your data and on the Home tab, choosing Conditional Formatting, Highlight Sales Rules, and finally, Duplicate Values. Clicking on OK. And then the so-called duplicated values uh, will show up in a conditional format. And it's actually very hard to read, and it could be misleading because uh, those are not necessarily uh, duplicated records, but just more like within each column uh, values that are found more than once, not taking a look at the entire record. So not necessarily uh, duplicated. So let me cancel that. And uh, let's go over the way to remove duplicates according to Microsoft. So selecting your data, and then under the Data tab, under Data Tools, Remove Duplicates. Always make sure that if you have headers uh, in your selection, that you check the box for My Data as Headers. And then choosing how you want to define a duplicate record uh, by columns, whether you want to include only one column, two columns, or three columns. In my case, now let's say we want to only use the make to identify duplicated records. If I click on OK, it's going to tell me that four duplicated values were found and removed and uh, leaving us with five unique values. So now if you take a look at the make, we do not have any duplicated values. Canceling and now going over using multiple columns by make color only, removing the price, clicking on OK. Now only two uh, values were uh, found as being duplicated. Because even though Toyota is found multiple times, using the color as well, Toyota Black is a unique record, Toyota White is a unique record. And if I were to use all three uh, columns, then only one record was actually uh, duplicated. Now, when you use the Remove Duplicates uh, feature in Excel, it actually does not show you which records are being removed. Uh, that, to me, is a problem, because sometimes when you have duplicates in your data, you may have an issue with your data. And if you want to resolve the issue, you need to know what the duplicates are. So we need to identify them. So I'm going to show you exactly how to identify duplicated values using one column or multiple columns. That's why I added three columns. One that will only work with the make, the second to work with the make and color, and finally, uh, one field using all three fields. So going to cell F11, typing equals if, count if, Selecting my range, using absolute values, so the dollar signs for the columns as well as the rows, comma, criteria, the first value uh, in my list, cell C11. So if my count is greater than one, then it's a duplicate. So comma, double quotes, Dupe, double quotes, comma, 
double quotes, double quotes. So let's go over the formula. I'm going to count within my range the number of times like Toyota is listed. And if the count is greater than one, then I want to return dupe or duplicate. And if it's one or not found, then nothing. So nothing would be double quotes, double quotes. So let's press enter. And it says dupe because Toyota is found multiple times using the same formula. So every time Toyota is listed, dupe is showing. Same thing for Ford, but Jeep, Volvo, and Subaru are unique values. So nothing is displayed. So it's great, but it's only using one column. So how do we make it work for multiple columns? We can actually use a very similar formula. So I'm going to copy it, go to cell G11, paste my formula, and instead of count if, we're going to modify it and choosing count ifs with an S at the end to have multiple criteria. I'm going to, actually going to copy the first criteria because it's going to be very similar. So right after the first criteria, comma, and then instead of C, typing D to use column D, the color, as my second criteria. Clicking on Enter. And now we have less duplicates. Uh, because, for instance, Toyota White is a unique record. There is no other row in my data showing Toyota White. And again, same thing. If we want to use three fields instead of two, we just need to add another criteria. And now instead of D, it's going to be E at the end. So modify, modifying my formula real quick. And now only two records are showing as duplicates. Toyota Black 25,000, Toyota Black 25,000. So using the three columns, we know that we have two records that are identical. Now, very often, when you take a look at duplicates, you want to uh, only mark the second instance or third instance or fourth instance of duplicated records as a duplicate. The first instance should not be marked as a duplicate. So how can we adjust the formula to only show the second, third, fourth, fifth instance uh, as a duplicate, but not the first instance? So we're going to go to our formula and the trick is very simple. In the range, we're going to mod modify it a little bit. So instead of 19, selecting like 11, the first cell, and choosing relative uh, uh, instead of absolute uh, values. And just by doing that, the first instance will not be marked as a duplicate. So Toyota Black first instance, not a duplicate, but Toyota Black second instance marked as duplicate. Now for the second uh, formula, same thing. Wherever it says 19, I'm going to replace it by 11 and make the reference relative instead of absolute. So same thing here, 11, removing the dollar sign. So the first column, no, it's only by make. Now the second column is by make and color. Uh, so Ford Blue, second instance is a duplicate. First instance is not marked as a duplicate. And now finally, let's do the same thing for the last column. Almost done. Uh, 
All right. So ignore the error messages uh, because they do not matter. It's telling us that the formula in this set refers to a range that has additional numbers adjacent to it. Uh, it does not affect the formula. And it shows only uh, the duplicated record based on three fields as, as a duplicate. So the first one was here, not marked as a duplicate. The second instance is marked as a duplicate. And from here, you can use you know, the uh, Excel feature to remove duplicates because now you know what the duplicates are. Or you can just you know, also you know, like apply you know, like filters, uh, select you know, like dupe, and then remove the, the specific row. But now uh, you actually know what you are removing which is much better than using the uh, native feature that does not allow you to see the duplicates before you remove them. So that's it for today, guys. Um, hopefully you liked the video. Please let me know by liking the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comment section in YouTube. And last but not least, uh, subscribe to the channel for more cool videos. Thanks for watching.